Hello, traders. I know there's some people out there that are starting to use SMT divergence or wanting to use it for their analysis, and they're trying to figure out how to get it on their chart. And so this is a very short tutorial on how you can do that. So within TradingView, once you have one instrument up, like right now I have the S&P 500, what you can do is you can click on this um, compare or add symbol, and you can type in the symbol that you want to compare it to. So we'll just go with uh, NQ. I'm going to do their continuous uh, um, continuous uh, selection here. And when I add it, you'll see it adds it as a line. And what I'll do, I'm going to double click on it. Actually, before I double click on it, I'm going to click on it once and then uh, right click it and click move to new pane below. As you can see, it's put it down here. Now I'm going to double click on it and change it from a line to a candle. And now I've got S&P on top and Q on the bottom. And then you can add another one if you want to add the YM. Same thing. And again, it puts it up here. I will click on it once to select it, right click it, click down to move new pane below. I'll double click it, change it from a line to a candle, hit OK. And then I can, uh, I can space them out evenly if I want. Um, I can come in here and I can uh, change the name to a SMT if I want, so I can quickly switch between my templates that I have. But this is a great way to be able to compare these instruments uh, right on top of each other. And uh, one thing I like to do is I like to kind of do it live and continuously. So I would have seen uh, coming into the market here, the S&P was making a lower low. Same with YM, whereas NQ did not. And so this divergence could have been a great time to, as one form of confluence, to say, okay, liquidity had been taken, and now I want to look to go long um, if my entry is, presents itself. And then um, similarly, you had another S&P divergence, higher high, lower high. Nope, oh, sorry. I just clicked on the wrong thing. And, uh, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. You can see it. You don't need me to do this now, huh? <laughs> Um, and a higher high here. <clears throat> so this is a great way just to have them right on top of each other. You can see the SMT divergences and you see them um, as long as you can have this window up. Um, then you can take any actions uh, you want to take accordingly. But this is how you can configure your charts to have the three indices on top of one another using that compare function. So I hope this helped. All you traders out there, I hope you take more from the market than it takes from you. May the ticks be forever in your favor. Peace out.